This contest is scheduled for three rounds of three minutes each. This professional MMA fight is conducted under the unified rules as sanctioned by the Asian MMA Federation. Our cage type medical staff and doctors are some of Singapore's very finest professionals hailing from the Changi Sports Medical Center. And the director of competition is Singapore's very own and highly respected Mr. Dick Ong. Your referee for this fight, Mr. Stephen Percival. Ladies and gentlemen, and fight fans from around the world, let's get ready for combat! Fighting out of Blue Corner, this man is making his professional MMA fight debut right here on Martial Combat tonight. He stands at 175 centimeters tall and weighs in at 73 kilograms. He's currently, currently trading under the watchful eye of martial combat superstar and our commentator tonight, Ray Elby, at the Tiger Muay Thai and MMA gym in Phuket, Thailand. From Australia, give it up for Braden In the red corner, he is from the home of Shaolin Kung Fu and is also making his professional MMA debut right here on Martial Combat tonight. He stands at 180 centimeters tall and weighs in at 71 kilograms. Representing UMAC and from China, it's Bian Xiao Lo! Your ring announcer, Uday Joshi, introducing the fighters for this first fight of the evening, Martial Combat 8. Quite noticeable that Braden Summers looks a lot thicker through the chest and stomach, seems to have a stronger looking, at least, upper body than his opponent. Two kilograms in difference. But as you said, it's Bian Xiaolong who is the taller man by five centimeters. Let's see if he can make that height work to his advantage. Good crowd here at Singapore Resorts World Sentosa and they've become quite an educated crowd this is the eighth such event we've had here it's become very popular referee Stephen Percival has been present for every one of our martial combat nights top class referee Let's see if we can get some top class action from this opening bout of the evening. Braden Summers doing a good job of bringing the fight straight into the clinch. One of the things about the Sound of San Chao fighters is the fact they work with distance. Um, so the closer you close that and the quicker you're able to close that distance, the less you're going to have to deal with those unorthodox kicks. Bringing up the knee a couple of times as well there. Here I'd like to see Braden utilize the fence a bit better. That takes the fighter's ability to sit those hips back out of the equation. As you see the Chinese fighter sitting his hips back, creating the space for those knees, but it's also making it a bit more difficult to get the takedown. Plenty of knee work going on. That'll be sore in the midriff. Braden snapping his opponent down now with the head and arm control. Good defense, though, by the Chinese fighter displayed. Slightly taller, and it might, be, might have been just slightly more difficult to get him down into that position. Because of that, the Chinese fighter trying to trip his man, but again, plenty of knee work. A big feature of this fight so far. Good knees here being displayed by Braden Summers. He's doing a good job of pulling the head down each time he throws that knee. You see that right hand clasped across the back of the Chinese fighter's neck. Stephen Percival asking for more work. Plenty of Australians in the crowd tonight. There was an Aussie, Aussie, Aussie chant just before the fight got underway. Braden Summers used to be an Australian soldier. So he served his country. Braden actually said he was dedicating this fight to the Australian soldier that lost his life today in the war. So mad appreciation for him on that. Just recognizing his own country in, it, in their sacrifice that they've made. 
Braden doing a good job of pulling the head down. Chinese fighter really needs to try to keep his posture a bit better. What I'd like to see Braden do is maybe try to bring one of those one of those knees all the way up to the head. Bringing the knees up to the head. Occasionally they're straying a little bit below the belt, which uh, of course wouldn't be legal. But uh, referee Stephen Percival hasn't stepped in yet. A lot of them sort of borderline. Most of this round's been spent in the clinch. Yeah. Good knee to the head there, though. Very dangerous takedown being attempted by the Chinese fighter there. Unfortunately, those hip tosses are very hard to effectively utilize in MMA because you give your back. Um, and with the scoring, and there's no stand-ups, anytime you give your back, it's a dangerous, dangerous technique to try to utilize here. Well, they've gone into a clinch pretty early on in this contest. We're in the final 10 seconds of the first round. There's barely been a punch thrown. Plenty of great knee work, though. And they haven't got each other to the canvas either. It's been a pretty similar round for the entire five minutes. And, Ray, I would venture that it might be quite difficult to score that one. How do you see it? Oh, well, a tough round to score. One of the things that I would say is that Braden dictated the pace of the, of the fight by initiating the clinch. Uh, I would say he landed the more damaging strikes out of out of the clinch in the exchange of the knees. He had that one big knee to the head, and he was able to counter pretty much all the takedown attempts by the Chinese fighter. So in a close round, I would have it a 10-9 round, Braden. Well, we have three judges at ringside, and they'll score a 10-9 round if they think one fighter shades it. 10-8 if it's a, a very convincing winning round. They'll all be added up at the end of the contest. Three judges will decide who wins this one if it goes the distance. But we've had some spectacular inside the distance finishes in the seven martial combat events so far. And there's no reason to believe that tonight we won't see any more. Braden Summers from Australia against Bian Xiaolong of China. Second round is about to get underway. Stephen Percival just making sure that everyone's ready at ringside and we're away. Now, will they get back into that clinch? Or will they keep it a distance? Already a slightly different look to this round. Braden right back into the clinch, utilizing the fence a bit more this time. He's able to keep beyond against the fence. It'll take away that ability for him to sit those hips out, which is what's giving Braden the problem with securing the takedown here. A lot of Chinese wrestling is upper body wrestling. Uh, as you see, these guys are working the clinch. Most of the takedown attempts are focusing above the waist. You sparred with him, Ray? Southpaw? Always a bit awkward, isn't it? Yeah. He's one of my favorite punching bags in the gym. <laughs> <laughs> we won't let him know you said that. <laughs> A little bit more at distance this round than the first round was. Some kicks, a few punches thrown, a good right hand there, a couple of good right hands from the Chinese man. Probably connected with Braden Summers on the top of the head, nothing too damaging. This stand-up grappling, is this something you've seen Braden do a lot? before or is it just the, this clash of styles? I think it just happens to be predominantly the styles. Braden's more of a greco Roman wrestler, um, which is an upper body wrestling. The Chinese fighter here looks to be stuck in the guillotine choke. This might be tight. Braden's locking it in here. He's locking those arms. Very similar to the Darce choke. This is deep, folks. This might be the end of the fight. It is. He taps out. Ray Elby called it. And that's why we've got him here. He saw the end of the fight coming some seconds before it actually did. Tapping out means you submit because you just can't take it anymore. And that's a great third win of Brayton Summers' mixed martial arts career. Yan Xiaolong will be disappointed because it was pretty even until that point. But that's your first fight of the night in the books.
gentlemen, with one minute and 14 seconds remaining in round number two, and by way of guillotine choke submission, your winner in the blue corner, Brayden Summers! Brayden, many congratulations. Your first win at Martial Combat, well done. What was it about the clash of styles there that meant there was so much stand-up grappling in this contest? We haven't seen much of that. Oh, I really couldn't find that much information on the bloke I was fighting, so I heard the standard guys like to play mid-range, you know, throw a lot of side kicks and that, so I didn't want to bug around with that stuff, so just get in and do it. Now tell us about the move that finished the fight, the submission you had on him. Uh, well, I was going for a guillotine at first, and I found I had it pretty deep, so I locked on a no-arm dust. I could feel it was deep, so I just squeezed, squeezed, and that was it. All right, convincing win. Well done. There's a few Aussies out here in the audience. Message for them. Uh, how's it going? Thanks for coming. <laughs> Brayden Summers, everyone. Your winner of the first contest this evening. <laughs>